He couldn't think. He couldn't create. He couldn't find a safe place in his mind that wasn't full of fear. That damn fear feeding on the fear that feeds on fear. Feeding on fear. That's too many feedings of fear. That damn fear feeding on fear. Uh, that feeds on fear. Until it curls him up in a ball from the pain. And he feels just as insecure as the boy he was trying to write about and let go. Pacing back and forth in the studio, his feet found the perfect boards that creaked and moaned, creaked and moaned, creaked and moaned the rhythm of his impatience and frustration. Why was it so damn hard to write these stories? Why did it mentally cripple him? Why must he look anywhere other than himself to save him from truly having to feel these memories again? The room was an excited musical carnival of chaotic created. Do I want to say excited? The room was a. Yeah. Stop thinking. The room was an excited musical carnival of chaotic creative thoughts. A chaotic. Yeah. A chaotic carnival with no field to perform on and no audience to cheer it along. Hardwood floor was a carpet of crumpled, shredded, and discarded notes. Frustrated, unfinished paintings filled every spot on the wall and the empty spaces on the floor. There were words scribbled over paintings. There were words scribbled on paintings. Only to be scratched out or painted over. Only to be written again somewhere else. But then there was nothing. Hello, he says, stopping to bend down and pick up a note that stands out in the discarded crowd. <sighs> Searching for the music between the music. Uh, waiting for my ghost to catch up. Searching for the music between the music. Trying to find the rope between the rope. Wait, the rope between the rope? He looks at it again to make sure he read it correctly. When did I write that? Why did I write that? Judging from the sound of your constant pacing for the last several hours, I would say your subconscious is trying to tell you something. She said, leaning against the door frame with her arms crossed and a gentle smile on her face. Hi, he said, smiling. Your pacing sounds like a rope swinging back and forth. There was a long pause as he thought about what she said. Still leaning in the doorway, she waited as he stared at the note in his hand. He looked at the chaos all around him, then back to the note. Ah, uh, that is... Remember that. Uh, she would. Ah, uh, goddamn it. Goddamn it. 